All right, everyone, we are at 15 November 2023. How are you doing? How are you doing out there in crypto land? Um, things are acting up or uh, acting up, acting up or getting better or moving or stuff is happening. I don't know the right terminology. English hard. Yeah, I was looking at BTC. Like I said, I uh, my last video, I kind of decided I'm done with the mining crap. Too much electricity, too much heat, just a pain in the butt. For uh, the juice and the squeeze, that whole that whole saying, it just was not worth the effort on my part. So basically sold, I think, 80% of my GPUs. I have a lot of uh, CPU rigs left with the Ryzen. Um, oh, God, I forgot they're called the 3900. I used to know so much. It's amazing. You become so proficient in this stuff, of course, when you're doing it day to day. But once you drop off for a bit, you kind of forget how you did stuff. And I was watching older movies and uh, videos I made, I went, oh, I don't remember. How did I learn that in Windows? I don't even know what I was talking about. You know, I mean, I couldn't remember why I did it. And I looked at the video and went, wow, that's pretty smart. <laughs> yeah, it just goes to show you once you put your mind to it and you're into it and you have the tools at hand and you have the ability to research and the ability to learn, you can do a lot of things. It's just putting your mind to it. The ability to learn is the secret power. Um, again, this is not a motivational video, but again, the ability to learn and problem solve is the skill you want and critical thinking skills not rote memorization not a uh, you know follow this process crap sometimes you got to be able to look at a problem i got a problem how am i going to solve this well first let's go see if someone else has solved it and then know where to look when to walk away for a bit to let your brain rest and then get back into it because once you get frustrated you can't solve the problem it gets worse you kind of spiral a little bit beat yourself up best to walk away Maybe for a day, a couple hours, whatever, just to chill out, forget about it, take your mind off it, and then go back into it and think it through, visualize it, and boom, you will solve the problem. How do I know? This has worked in all aspects of my life, from my software engineering days, which I don't really miss, to uh, even doing uh, woodworking, home finishing stuff. And recently I had to do some crown molding. It's been like 10 years since I did crown molding. I do not have my tools. I used to have my miter saws and stuff. And I go, how am I going to cut this inside crown molding joint? Oh my God. I just wasn't getting it. Blah, blah, blah. Getting frustrated, getting irked. Took some time, a few hours off, sat down, thought about the problem. Looked up the right information, found a great video from this old hillbilly guy, Southern accent, says, Here, here's how you cut some crown molding with a circular saw by hand, laying it flat instead of perching it up, nested upside down, backwards with a compound miter saw, whatever. You just put this puppy flat, you get these two angles on the crown molding, boom, boom. And then you can do a coping cut, which I did. And if you know anything about that, learn it. It's good to work with your hands. And voila, my God. It worked. The crown molding fit together in an inside joint, which is not easy. And it looks pretty damn decent for not having done this in 10 years. Uh, so it's just a matter of knowing how to look, how to look, how to look. Um, knowing to identify the problem, what you need to do, where to look, thinking it through, visualize it, and blammo. Blammo. You'll get it done. And it builds your confidence level. Will it get you the babes? I doubt it. But uh, you need to be six foot tall, six pack and at least six figures to get a Western woman these days. And then again, why would you want a Western woman when, geez, they're just toxic and annoying? Not that all men are great, but in general, Western women are just, don't do it. Uh, don't get married and uh, go overseas, go to the Philippines, go to Japan. You will see how uh, more traditional and uh, just appealing those women are compared to uh, American women. I'm just saying, man. Anyway, I digress, but that's the fun of YouTube. Just talk about whatever in the hell you want to talk about. Let's get back to Bitcoin. So last night, Bitcoin went down here. Can you see this? I'm going to click on this. This is my little Apple stock app. It's very biased. It's very, I'm in the middle of the road, right, guys? Whatever. Moderate, liberal, libertarian, whatever. Uh, but this Apple stuff is very skewed to the left, biased with their news and that. So you take it like you take it like Kramer on CNBC. You take you do the opposite of what he says and you'll be wealthy. Kramer's an idiot. He's a shill. He's a clown. Uh, but you do the opposite of what that fool says. Like he's called Bitcoin's demise like two months ago. Boom. Look at it. 37, 357. Last night. I looked, it went up, 
Then it went actually down to 36,200. And as I told you in previous video, I used, instead of mining, got rid of all that crap, like I said, dumped some of the hardware. I've uh, been purchasing small amounts of Bitcoin through my uh, through a uh, online account, Fidelity. They have a crypto exchange now. But the only problem with that is um, not your keys, not your coins. They hold it. It's there. They pretty much have them. So that's the only bad thing. So it's almost like with Fidelity, you could, you know, buy, buy some Bitcoin. Play around with it, dump it if it goes up, do quick sales, maybe get some short sales, not short sales, um, short term capital gain sales. If you want, if you're up a thousand, make make a hundred bucks, boom, hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. You're going to pay capital gains on it. But I think what is nice, which I have to check out is Fidelity may give you the reporting on that to make it easy for the old Uncle Sam IRS to come rape you and take your money uh, that they did nothing to earn, that you took the risk, they take your money. Isn't it amazing how taxation is theft? But that's another subject. So now we're looking at Bitcoin. We're up here. Can you see my little mouse right here? 2,038. It's moving up from last night. And I had a hunch this morning. I should probably drop, maybe drop some more money into this. Not much, just a little bit, kind of dollar cost average in, which is a smart investment practice across all assets, uh, whether it's stocks, index funds, whatever. Dollar cost averaging is king. Compounded interest dividends is really what you want to go. Bitcoin's not paying me dividends. Again, the, the places that did pay rewards and stuff, not really dividends, were Voyager and BlockFi. Guess what? They're bankrupt. Uh, they stole me 50 bucks. They're going to send me a check. 50 bucks was some of my residual rewards which were pending at the time they froze everyone's account. It's kind of Trudeau style where they just go freeze your account because they don't like you. And uh, that's kind of what Voyager did because they say the bottom fell out and they froze the account. And then but I had all my stuff out of there. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, that was close. Do not. How do I say it? Lesson learned. Not your keys, not your coins, guys. Do not keep your stuff on exchanges like Voyager, BlockFi, Coinbase. Do not. Put them in like an exodus of a, a treasure where you control it, man. Otherwise, you'll walk, you'll lose it all. You will lose it. Not matter if, but when. It's just such risky out there. All right, so we're up 2,133 on Bitcoin. Here's the chart. Look at this little spike. Look at that little spike. Can you see it right there, guys? There's the dip last night. 36... Uh, it went down to 35.5. Ooh, that would have been a nice buy. My gut told me to buy, but I didn't because I had to go do something. 37.4. And not too bad. Man, God, look at that. That's a big jump for some money. Uh, let's see what the news is. Bitcoin up more than 5% near one week high. Not too shabby. How can you do, do any better if you're buying um, stocks and that? But again, index S&P 500 index fund is the... Um, Sure bet, most likely in any investing. I actually had a guy, a client, not a client, a, a guy I met. He was a financial advisor in a deep blue state. And he even said, listen, uh, he, uh, you know, he's, he's in investing and in financial advisor to rich clients. And he was getting out soon. He was about ready to, you know, retire and go do something else. And he said, listen, the secret is, just buy an index 500 fund, S&P, set it and forget about it. You know, by telling you this, I, you know, I lose, I'm pretty much out of a job because if you buy, you know, I'm basically doing that for you when I have clients say, get me the stocks that'll perform this. I, he said through his history working, if you just invested in the index 500, S&P 500 fund, re reinvest dividends, compounded uh, you will be, you're doing pretty good. That's a smart investment thing. Again, not financial advice, but over my experience, that actually has been uh, holding true. Buying the individual stocks is a little tedious. You don't know which one's going to go up and down. You have to monitor all of them. And you really should not be looking at your investments. Just set it and forget it. And uh, until you, until you um, I don't know, until you need the dividends, you want to live off the dividends. You don't want to pull your initial core investment out. You want those... Uh, investments, whether index fund or another stock or something to uh, keep making you money as you grow old until you croak, right? Right. All right. So there we are with Bitcoin. I don't get ETH. I don't understand ETH. I mined it when it was on Ethermine. What the hell? I even forget how I mined it. Oh my God. Was it Ethermine? I totally forget. I totally blocked out the whole mining experience. I do have Litecoin. I hate Litecoin with a passion. I'll show you why. Let's do, let's do five here. Look at this little bastard. 
Back in 2021, the little bastard shot up to 386. And then look where it's at. Should have taken my profits then, taken that, held it, the cash, or flipped it over to Bitcoin. Right now, seeing how this whole crypto and these altcoin bullshit, they are just shit coins. Uh, seeing how it all, it's all going, there was a whole talk about the Litecoin happening or whatever, and nothing ever came of it. I mean, nothing, it didn't increase the price of Litecoin. So my opinion is, I'm just, if at the first chance, maybe at the new year, because I don't want to worry about taxes on this crap, I actually think I lost money based on my purchases of Litecoin. So maybe you just got to do all that reporting bullshit. Uh, but it is a loss for me, is maybe take this, flip it in kind for Bitcoin. Just hold Bitcoin. Bitcoin is king, man. I'm just telling you from my Bitcoin, everyone talks about Bitcoin. You know, screw ETH. I don't know what's going on with this stupid thing. But again, uh, that's just my ignorance. I just don't care. I mined it. We that, and I flipped everything when I mined it to Bitcoin. Uh, Litecoin. I should just flip that over to Bitcoin. Figure out the stupid tax thing. It's a loss. So I don't really give a crap. You know, report the loss, right? Maybe that helps. I don't think it's help my taxes at all. I need to. I need to sell some other up winning stocks, maybe to offset the loss with Litecoin. I guess I have to figure out how that works. Uh, but not this year, Batman. Maybe next year. So here's Litecoin. We got Bitcoin up. Look at that, 2158 as we speak. Uh, what's this video at now? Oh, 11 minutes. Woohoo. Yeah, so let's, Bitcoin's fun to talk about lately. Uh, I think because that uh, BlackRock ETF thing has kind of motivated people. Uh, let's see what the market's doing here. These are some of my stocks I follow and owned. Uh, I monitor the top indexes. So here we have Dow Jones up 177. You know, Starbucks has been good to me. I bought this. On a dip, when the owner I forgot the I forgot the CEO's name. He was doing some comments about not letting people in his bathroom, destroying them, and then people got all up in arms. And then the stock dipped out of social outrage, all all bullshit, right? So it dipped for like actually a day, and I bought it. And the thing's been like up 100% since I bought it. I love it. And you do get a dividend on the little bastard, 2.16%. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. Verizon, uh, I think they have a good dividend. Yeah, 7.41%, but it tanked, but it's coming back a little bit. I don't know what the hell's going on with them. Again, I can't watch it all. Again, and then that's the pro for an index fund. Let the people you're, uh, you you invested with, the index, manage it all. And again, you can get an index 500 fund with next to no fees, or if zero fees. Fidelity, Vanguard, have zero fee index 500 funds. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't be paying fees, you'll go broke. Uh, especially don't ever use Ameriprise. They get you on expenses, fees, and and then you wonder why you're just breaking even. The bastards are taking all your money. Trust me, I've been there. Oh my God, I wasted so much money with Ameriprise and a so-called wealth advisor. Run, run from these people. You can do it yourself. <laughs> Guys are just, uh, they love your money because why? They can make money off your money. Yeah. So Mo is, uh, is um, oh God, what is Mo? I totally forget. Altria, is that the booze? No, is that the cigarettes? Yay, cigarettes. So 9.75% yeah, yield on this puppy. Again, people love smoking, baby. Uh, it may be shunned on a little bit in the America, but overseas people smoke like sieves, baby. Smoke them down. Uh, we got Johnson & Johnson, 3.2. Lowy's, low is 2. Pepsi's usually been good for me, 2.8. Avi is a, a pharmaceutical. 4.4, not a bad performer for me. It's one of my top two, three. Exxon, I've had forever since I was a baby. A baba. A baba. And they pay dividends. Look at that little bastard. People are always going to eat Petra stuff. Don't believe the news and the bullshit from the left or right or whatever. This climate bullshit. People need oil. You need oil. Oil is life. Uh, so, yeah. Invest wisely. Oh, what do we got here? Broadridge. That's a financial REIT, which is a real estate investment trust. Look at me. I know all this crap. Cisco is networking. People always need networking. You got to network, communication, Cisco routers, gateways, all the yummy stuff. Dominion is tanking on me, right? Didn't I dump? I think I dumped this turd for some reason. I don't know. Duke, but 4.52 on Duke Energy. Dominion had a good yield, right? 5.7. Again, if you don't, you got to watch. The, the rule is if you're dividend investing, you don't really care about the stock price because the lower it is when you reinvest those dividends every quarter, it's going to buy more stock. So you're not there to sell it. You're not doing this, uh, what do you call it? Speculating on hope the price goes up. 
Just like I do own Tesla, but again, it doesn't pay dividends. It's just sitting there. My money's sitting there passively, not doing crap for me. Musk isn't paying me dividends. Uh, I'm just hoping it's going to go up. It's kind of stupid where I can get into dividend fund and every quarter they're paying me dividends, which I reinvest and it gives me more and more stock. Compound, baby, compound. Tesla's not compounding for me and I wish it would. Arr. Anyway, let's go on. Here's some, I'm just showing you some of the stuff I like. Uh, some of these are called dividend aristocrats, which have been long-term companies doing well over long-term, not just fly-by-nights. Oracle, surprisingly, is a kick-ass company. Uh, look at that price, dividend yield, performance over time. The longer you're in the game, the better. Time in the market beats time in the market. You know all that bullshit, right? PG's good. Everyone needs to wipe their butt. They make paper products. You know, women need all their little stuff too. Paper products. <laughs> yeah, you get it. Four point uh, Southern Company is four uh, percent. I forget some of these. Oh, here's an index five hundred. I have. It was actually down to one forty six last week. Like right here. Look at this. And I was debating putting more. Oh, 143. See, go with your gut. If you're thinking about it, just dollar cost average in. Don't drop the whole kit and caboodle in there, baby. Just drop a couple bucks in. Bam. Look at that. Blammo. And that gives 1.6 shield. And check it out. I don't know. I like it. Now we're back at Bitcoin. And since we've been yammering, babbling, it's up 21.91. Yeah, shit. Something's going to happen. I don't know what's going on. I wish Litecoin would just go up to 400 bucks. I can dump it <laughs> or buy Bitcoin with it. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, just repeat Bitcoin. That's all you need. Uh, here's Tesla. Wow, up, where are we at? Oh, come on, baby. I want Tesla to get up to 400 again. Come on, Musk. Quit pissing off the regime and uh, they'll let your stock go higher. He keeps pissing off the regime because, you know, they're trying to censor people and all that stuff and uh, control people and you know, remove our constitutional rights, all that bullshit. And Tesla, you know, Tesla, Musk is trying to fight that, keep people free. But again, they're going to punish him. You know, the SEC, the government, the regime is coming after him. So they kind of keep his uh, stock price low and Bill Gates shorts it. You know, it's all evil underneath, man, all the way down. All right, just make me money so I can punch out. Money is freedom. Money is independence. That's the way I look at money. Uh, I don't want to buy shiny objects. I just want money for freedom. I hate working for people. I hate working for others. It's a horrible feeling, especially we have that entrepreneurial spirit. I just hate knowing that I work for someone else and someone else is making more money off my sweat. Yeah, I hate that. But that's the way it is. Job, J-O-B, just overbroke. Uh, this is an energy company. Let's see, 126, it pays 3.4%. Coke, of course, everyone likes sugar. Drink that sugar, which gives you cancer and kills you early. Uh, this one, oh, this one's interesting. I bought this one. Look at this little bastard, 1.45%. This is a Fidelity New Millennium, and also this is the ETF version of it. I have no idea. They both perform in parallel. I don't know why I bought the ETF versus this one. This one, I think, has a stronger performance. I don't know. I Yeah, you got to be careful when you're buying. Make sure you know what you're buying. Don't be an idiot. Take your time. If you think you're ready to click buy, walk away for 10 minutes. Think about it. Now, these are the, um, the, the, uh, the industrial, what do they call it? industrial military machine of the United States, which, uh, you know, America is the, we're the enforcers. We're the war machine. We're only good at war. That's what we're good at. We're good at weapons and war. Uh, that's about it. Uh, our cities are dirty. They're falling apart. Culture sucks. It's falling apart. It's degrading, but we make great weapons and can blow things up. Uh, Lockheed Martin up. Look at that. 2.84% yield. If you like weapons and blowing people up, or selling weapons to people that like to blow people up. Look at this, Boeing, 8.65%. Not Maybe something if you like, again, good dividend. You know, yield, look at that puppy. You can put your money there for a long time and set and forget about it. The problem is with the old 737 MAX uh, issues and controversy that came out, people quickly found out Boeing was started by engineers and run by engineers and management that engineers ran it all the way down the squirrel rabbit hole, whatever. That's why they could pump out a 747. And I don't know, it was only took them under a year. So I don't know, some two years. I don't know. It was an ungodly and fast amount of time to create and build a 747 from scratch, right? The design through, it was just engineers getting it done. Then what happened? Management came in as with anything successful, right? The golden goose, you get a cancer coming in, people that don't know anything about airplanes. People are just greedy, trying to take the company and rape it, take all the money and, you know, whatever, destroy it. You get idiots coming in, 
you know, these guys from Brown and Wharton, all these people think they know how to run a business. They don't. They're not engineers. They don't understand the business. They come in and destroy it. 737 Max, trying to cut corners, cheap, cheap, cheap. All these dumb issues, training issues, just the whole perfection of Boeing was destroyed by idiots coming in and running it that had no place being there. And they need to get back to letting engineers run the company. But it's too late. The greed taken over. So can't, like a cancer, these guys come in and ruin a good thing. Uh, that's why we can't have nice things, right? Anyway, that is where we are. But again, having said that, I need to look and see who's in charge of that shithole right now and uh, see if um, they got some better leadership uh, and maybe buy some of this stuff. I know uh, the Airbus, the big Airbus, that 380, they kind of stopped making that. That might go into cargo because it just never, it literally never took off in a way. I don't know. It just never picked up. Just, I forget what was the reasoning. Uh, interest, shorter flights are cheaper. People would rather take multiple shorter flights. But again, Australia, Australia, Qantas, I think Qantas, is it Qantas? They use it yet from their Sydney to England, their London flight, straight flight over. But again, who wants to go to London now? It's all burning down. It's like Islamabad. You know, I wouldn't want to go there. Uh, yeah, England has fallen, so that's over with. Say goodbye, England. Uh, you are now new Islamabad. <laughs> Which is true. It's not even being funny. Oh, my God. Boeing CEO, this is the year of wide body orders. Yeah, let's just hope you understand what you're doing. Let the engineers tell you how to run the company, you fool. All right. I don't know if they got a new guy or not. Uh, all right, that's all I got, man. Let's look at Bitcoin one last time. A little rant video. Rant videos are fun. 21 minutes, baby. Should have made this a stream. Let's see. F uh, fidelity. I don't know where I'm looking. Help me. Help me. Scrolling hard. Scrolling hard. Bit oh, my Lord. Look at that. Bitcoin. 37,500, Big Daddy. 2,246 bucks. ETH, I don't care. I just don't care. I think it's the, the guy, Vivek, whatever. He just creepy looking. Freaks me out. Litecoin, I don't know what this guy's doing. Please go back to 400. I'm gonna, I want out. I want to make, I want LTC to become Bitcoin. Please, please, I want my LTC to become Bitcoin. Doge, I have no idea what the hell's going on there. <laughs> what the hell was that about? Anyway, remember that old Doge days? Oh, we got a thunderstorm coming in. Woohoo! All right, guys, Bitcoin for the win. Now it's a whole bunch of this video. It's up. Sometimes go with your gut. You don't have to put all your money into it. You can invest in dollar cost average in 100 bucks here and there if you have it. Don't invest more than you're willing to lose because you will lose it. This is the way it is. It's like gambling. You No one can walk away. Only 10% of the people know when to walk away from the table when they're up. Because the, the, they know if you stay at the table, the money's going to go right back to the house. That's why the house has a nice shiny building and you don't. All right, on that note, go forth, do great things. I don't know what else. I'm sorry I'm out of the... Um I'm out of the mining stuff. I still have the equipment, but it's just all packed up and I'm selling it. And I'll, I'll let you know what else if I get into it, but I don't see it because the electricity and the heat, I just don't see the point. I see other guys out there still kind of shilling the mining thing, but I just I just don't get it. I don't see it anymore having done it. Uh, and just the risk of it too. You could burn your freaking house down or your shed or something. I don't, I'm not into that. Uh, the risk reward is not there. All right, man, go forth, go out and have fun. Touch some grass, as they say. Breathe some air. And uh, get away from the computer. I am out. All right, guys. Take care.